Well, hey folks, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Hey, I've got a uh, new battery made by uh, Golden Mate uh, that they sent me to review. Now, this is a LifePo 4 battery. That means it is a lithium iron phosphate battery. And this is a 200 amp hour battery uh, that can be charged, maximum charge to 14.6 volts. It is designed for 12 volt systems, okay? And uh, I've reviewed a lot of these batteries. And uh, this one kind of caught my interest as because it has a few features that are different than other LifePo 4 batteries that are reviewed. So I'll go over that. Uh, for one thing, uh, these batteries can be hooked in series up to four batteries, where a lot of the ones that I've reviewed in the past could only be hooked in uh, series or parallel up to two batteries. So this, this system is designed for up to four batteries, which is good for off-gridders. I'm an off-grid, full-time off-gridder. These batteries are also used for uh, those mobility scooters and uh, power wheelchairs. And one of the reasons that uh, LifePo 4 batteries have become very popular is because they're very safe, okay? Uh, they don't off-gas like an acid battery, so you can actually store these inside your house or cabin or use them in your wheelchairs where you're charging them up from a charger or something like that. Because they're very safe, they don't off-gas. There's also almost no danger of them catching on fire or exploding like you see with lithium-ion batteries. LifePo 4 batteries or lithium-ion phosphate batteries are very, very safe. That's why they're now being used uh, in places uh, like for off-grid systems and for grid-tied systems for battery backup and also for other applications. These can also be used for uh, trolling motors for boats in your RV uh, and other applications. Now, like I said, these can be hooked up in four in parallel or series, uh, which is an advantage. They do not have a uh, low temperature sensor in them, so you should not use them in applications where it would drop below freezing. They're good to freezing, and they can discharge below freezing down to minus 20 degrees Celsius, but you should not be charging them below freezing, okay? And uh, the BMS should stop that. However, these do not have a low temperature sensor. Uh, and that's pretty uh, typical for this type of battery. Uh, and you want to ma just make sure that you're keeping them above freezing. Now, the, the reason I like these batteries is they are sealed. You never have to worry about them off-gassing. Very safe. They weigh about 55 pounds. I can lift this up. Very handy for using in an off-grid situation. And if you stick around, I'm going to show you how you can hook this up very simply with some basic components that you can get right on Amazon to make your own off-grid power station. And that's how I'm going to be using this is for a 200 amp hour off-grid power station. Now, this battery here is a good starter battery for a power system or for a recharging system. This will run all kinds of appliances. I use one like this to run my microwave. I use it to recharge my e-bike batteries. I use it for powering and recharging all kinds of small appliances, cooking appliances, tools, things like that. One of these batteries will handle that with just a 200 watt solar panel recharging it in about 10 to 12 hours. If you want to add more solar, you can recharge them even faster. These can also be recharged from a generator. They can be recharged from a uh, power charger plugged into your wall. So you can recharge these and use these batteries in a lot of different ways. Again, this is made by Golden Mate and I'll just go through some of the statistics on this one. Uh, this is a 12.8 volt battery, nominal charge of 200 amp hours. Uh, it is a 2,560 watt hour battery. So this size battery, like I said, is good for a recharging st system or small off-grid system or, of course, other applications where you need something for an emergency backup system, possibly, to run things like your 12 volt fridges and freezers, uh, to run a microwave, maybe run a, and uh, tools and things like that in an emergency system. One battery like this with just a small solar panel system will make an excellent emergency system. This has a charge voltage of 14.4 volts, 14.6 volts maximum. Uh, standard current is 40 amps, that's charging current. Maximum charge current is 100 amps. Okay, so that's how many, that's how many amps that you can charge this up with. To put that in perspective, if you're charging this up with solar, an 800 watt system would give you about 100 amps of charging power. So you could recharge this using as much as like 800 watts of solar power, maybe a little bit more. This has a maximum continuous discharge current of 120 amps. That's a little bit better than some of the other batteries that are reviewed that are only 100 amps discharge. This has, says it's rated for 120 amps discharge. Uh, and a, a discharge cutoff voltage of, of 10 volts. So once the battery is dropped down to a charge of 10 volts, then it stops working. The BMS will cut it off, so it won't charge if it gets below 10.4 volts. 
Now, the charging temperature on this is 0 to 50 degrees Celsius. Discharge temperature minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius. And storage temperature should be stored above freezing, basically. This is a certified CEFCC and UL certified cells that are used in this battery. Always good to know. And it says that this is rated for uh, 5,000 cycles at 80% DOD. Now, that's a little bit better than some of the other batteries that I've reviewed. Uh, now, there's no way I can test that, of course, because you'd have to run it continuously for a lot of years. But if you want to put that into perspective, 5,000 cycles at 80% DOD uh, would give you probably at least 10 to 15 years of life on a battery like this. If you was to drain this only to 60%, you could get as much as 15,000 life cycles on a battery like this, which is over 40 years, okay? So these batteries can last you a very, very long time, which is why I really uh, recommend them for off-grid systems or for other applications. All right, now, you want to see me test this battery, the easiest way for me to do that is I'm just going to go ahead and hook up a small solar electric system that can be used for an off-grid application or an emergency system, or maybe you're using it in your shed or some other application where you're going to be charging this up with solar. So I'll show you the components that I would use and recommend that go with a battery like this to set up a small system. So stick around. Okay, guys. So I promised I'd show you how to uh, hook up just a very basic, simple to, to use, put together by anybody off-grid power system or emergency backup system. This is a 200 watt uh, solar panel, flexible solar panels. You can see easily it folds up and it is made by Shine Giant. Uh, I give this an excellent review. It's also been a, an excellent product uh, because it can be used for power stations or it can be used for this application, in which case I just plug into the MC4 connectors and I have that connected to the power controller. Now a power controller is an, a Rover MPPT 40 amp power controller. Again, Renogi equipment available on Amazon. Excellent products. I've used these. This is a 40 amp uh, MPPT power controller. Uh, highly recommend. And then I've got those hooked into the Golden Mate uh, 200 amp hour LifePo 4 battery. Now it's really simple to connect these. All you need is the, the wires that go between the two and you connect them into the uh, positive and negative slot. When you're connecting these up, always connect the battery first to the power controller and let it read the battery, give it a minute to read the battery. This battery came almost fully charged already, uh, but it, it uh, will read the battery and then you can set it for the appropriate type of battery. You want to set it for a lithium uh, battery or a LifePo 4 battery, that's what it's going to be expecting you to read. And make sure that it reads the battery and tells you how charged it is. Then you can connect the solar panels to it, again just connect the positive and negative wires to the connect, connect correct slots on the bottom of the MPPT. Uh, power controller and that's it for hooking that up. That's how simple it is. Four wires and you're hooked up to your uh, solar power and your battery. Now if you're going to be using this for 110 volt appliances, which most of you probably are, you also need an inverter and that's what this thing is over here. Okay, so if you're, if you're going to be running 110 volt appliances then you need an inverter. This is an inverter made by Power Drive. It's a thousand watt inverter. Again, all of this equipment I got off of Amazon. This has been an excellent inverter. Has two 110 volt slots. It has a positive and negative cable, which you hook into the positive and negative uh, amounts on your battery. And then you turn on the switch and it will, you can plug in any 110 volt appliance below 1000 watts. It has a peak power, I believe, of 2000 watts. Up here, I've got my vacuum just to show you how this system will run appliance. So here's my vacuum that I use all the time. Running off the inverter, which is powered by the battery. So that's running off of the inverter, powered by the battery, which is being recharged by the solar panels. And that's as easy as it is to make an off-grid uh, emergency backup system or a recharging system or a system that you're going to use in your shed for, re for powering tools or anything like that or in your RV, however you want to use this system. All you need is some solar panels, a power controller, a good battery, and an inverter to convert it to 110 power. This Golden Mate battery, uh, I would give it a, a good review. I haven't tested it long enough to tell you for sure uh, that how long it will work and, and charging and that stuff, but I know these batteries pretty well. This is a UL listed battery, a CE battery, so the batteries in have already been tested for how long they'll last. They're good batteries uh, at a really decent price on Amazon, and you can get all this equipment and set this and set this up in probably less than an hour and have you an emergency power backup system or an off-grid system. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.